Welcome, brother. Kingdom Come Deliverance, a Kickstarter funded open world realistic medieval RPG, might be the most glitchy game in recent memory, but thanks to some Slavic magic and a passionate team, it makes you forget all of its hiccups and focus on the fascinating immersive world, unique quests, memorable characters and an interesting story. Apart from that, the expansive 14th century Bohemia scene in the game also features some easter eggs and references that will put a smile on any gamer's face. As you may have already noticed, here at Game Pressure, we're big fans of another Slavic video game hit, The Witcher Saga, and it seems as if we're not the only ones, as Warhorse Studios included some references to the Witcher universe in their latest game, so let's take a look at some Witcher easter eggs in Kingdom Come Deliverance. The first easter egg that caught our attention can be seen as early as the prologue in Skalit. Browsing through character skills, you'll eventually open the alchemy tab and find the Witcher skill, which just so happens to have an icon of a wolf, to make the reference even more obvious, as Geralt, the Witcher from the games, is often called by the nickname of White Wolf. What will this Witcher skill give us when we acquire it later on in the game? It will make it so that potions will fill us up 30% less, so we'll be able to drink more of them and do it more often, which will make Henry a little bit like the Witcher, who often drinks otherwise deadly potions. The next easter egg references Roach, Geralt's trusty horse, but to experience it for yourself, you need to do some work first. Complete the prologue and get to Ratai so that the world becomes open to you. Next, find a town called Merhoyed, just east of Townberg. Although I recommend completing Prey, an early main story quest first, so that you get a horse and travel becomes easier. Once in Merhoyed, make your way to the horse salesman in the northern part of town and check out what's for sale. Just behind the stables you'll find Roach, the horse from Witcher 3, which, surprisingly, isn't standing on a roof or any place weird. When you ask the salesman about the mare, he'll tell you that he bought the horse off from an odd Polish fellow who decided to settle down and that the horse could have been stuffed if not for the transaction. So did Geralt retire as a monster slayer and became a taxidermist? Well, not exactly. The dialogue with the horse salesman has two interesting references in it. One, pointing out to the non-canon story by Sapkowski, Something Ends, Something Begins, in which Geralt is getting married to Yennefer. The other nod references a certain stuffed unicorn some of you might remember from that one love scene from The Wild Hunt. I for one am happy that Roach didn't become a part of Geralt's sex life. Roach isn't the only horse from the Witcher universe that made its way to medieval Bohemia. When you get to the stables in Neuhof, a town you can find to the northeast of Ratai, once again make your way to the stables and find a horse called Kelpie. Although Kelpie, a water spirit from Scottish folklore, might not be as obvious an easter egg as Roach, the fans of the Witcher books will quickly recognize it as a mare who belonged to Ciri in the books. What's interesting is that in the original, Kelpie could have been summoned by the use of a magical bracelet, at least according to its previous owner, but since there is no magic in Kingdom Come Deliverance, I'll doubt that you'll be able to summon Kelpie in a similar manner. Although you could argue that there is some magic in the game, as the horse you own magically appears behind you whenever you summon it, just like the horses in the Witcher universe. Last but not least, we have a reference to one of the monsters from the Wild Hunt, probably the Royal Griffin. Once you discover the town of Ledechko to the northeast of Ratai, head to a foresty cliff just to the northwest side of the town. It might take several attempts, I for example fell to my death or got glitched in a tree a couple of times while doing so, but when you find just the right spot, you'll be able to look down from the cliff and notice a huge bird nest, so big in fact that it has room for a horse carcass. And once again, since Kingdom Come has neither magic nor magical beasts in it, it's obvious that it's supposed to be a developer's joke. The nest probably belongs to the Royal Griffin from the White Orchard, an early game boss we have to take down to progress forward in the Wild Hunt. Because the third Witcher game, the first time we see the Griffin, it just so happens to be feasting on a horse, so the horse in the nest reinforces that theory even more. Lucky for us, it's gone in Kingdom Come, as I doubt Henry is equipped to fight such a monstrosity. 
Okay, that's it guys, thanks for watching, let us know if you found some more interesting easter eggs and I'll talk to you soon.